Welcome to Club Soda. What's your flavor? It's Dr. Pepsi Cola Pepper in RVA. I've been here through COVID recovery, beginning in the Eurovision, and I'm still pleased to uh, bring the flavor, which is pepper. Dr. Pepper is bringing the flavor. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating their birthdays. Big dreams, uh, big wishes. Um, the beat abuse for the day is Club Soda. You can uh, follow me on Instagram at C O E C O P E S. Um, I'm tweaking some Facebook uh, updates for safety measures, and also would like to go farther and and for access, please subscribe to C O E C O P E S Club Soda on YouTube for now. Because um, I've been forbidden to do anything, you know, of lower standards and rates, but they all keep on thrusting on my leg. But that's not the point. We have new material, new content, um, guest quests of the day. Um, oh, the secret of the day is shh. Okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anyhow. Let's do a dope check for the day. Have you had your dope for the day? The dope that I'm speaking of is internal medicines, okay, people? Um, we're going to start off with the tears to the head. Um, let's go ahead, let the tears flow. That's going to, you know, continue to cleanse us. Um, it will continue to employ us if you can cry on cue. I've done it. Um, you, you can also laugh until you pee on yourself. I'll wait. People have been doing strange things to me here in Richmond. Happy Halloween. Uh, let, um, <clears throat> feel, feel, the, feel the power of uh, energy from water and cola cane production. <laughs> Woo! That's plenty of work employing Americans every day. So, um, dance, dance about this, all right? This is um, my first filming for Club Soda and I'm taking suggestions, I'm taking comments, but I'd like to go ahead and continue to stick to um, the idea that um, work one city at a time. Um, there's a lot of ca catastrophic things going on and it's um, number five, um, have something sweet, okay? Um, even in the midst of these things, um, do these things for self. Don't depend on your favorite rapper to sustain um, your spirit, right? So all of these things are internal and we can do these things automatically, naturally, supernaturally. But the idea is to do the housekeeping, right? For safety precautions of things that don't need to be involved in what we're pursuing as we're going into this new time that no one's ever seen. We have new grace, new mercy, new money, right? And I'm going to be discuss. I'm going to take the opportunity to discuss what was brought to me when I got here. I want to be very clear about myself in this time. I am from Texas, I'm from the Lone Star State. And I am in Richmond, Virginia, I'm on Capitol Hill. Where a lot of women and men have been subjected to sexual abuses. And these things need to be discussed. Please um, like, subscribe, share, all right? Um, your comments, your feedback is welcome. And if you can't say anything, leave an emoji. Because a lot of people are speechless. That horrific conditions that are going on, um, people are not necessarily doing so many stunts, but when you have Tropical Storm Ian that you know, has came through the mid-Atlantic coast, started off with Fiona, 
Um, we have water damage in San Juan and Puerto Rico. And it's only a matter of time before I have to leave Richmond and be in another city. So I was very pleased to be here. Thank you, Richmond, for being here and speaking with me. Um, and the mayor, Stoney, in his absence, I did uh, try to go by, but um, there may be a new mayor here soon. Um, Governor Junkin, um, thank you for removing the Casino One off the table in the midst of these things and um, go along with what it is that you had in mind for what you would like to see in America. All right? There's a lot of improvements, a lot of construction going on. There is work everywhere, people. For um, people that are employed in any type of journeyman, um, longshoremen, um, shipping and receiving, um, essential employees, nurses, nurse practic practitioners, thank you for standing by. Thank you for um, seeing the, the differences that can go on compromising your job, your health, just doing the things that you're trained to do. So thank you all the essential employees in Richmond, Virginia. I intend to continue to enjoy myself here, just like any other city that I would go to. I'd like to shout out to Orbital Music Park. Thank you for allowing me to practice and some of my music. For all those that came out to some of the different venues that were here once I finally landed here on Capitol Hill. Thank you for coming out, supporting. Thank you for sharing your music. Um, I'm involved with the Dreamcast of, uh, of, of time. In a, and I'm not in a time machine. I'm in my office in a corner of the world. Um, it's a date in 2022, Year of Angels, the last quarter people. And with all seriousness, I want to continue to just freestyle with this now. It's the last quarter of the year. And um, so many um, things have um, made it clear that the world that we lived in in 1950 is dead. That relationship is dead. The relationship with TV is dead. The relationship with music is dead. And simply because there are uh, so many beautiful models everywhere. And I would love to continue to encourage those to, to, to have the right to remain silent. Because photographs can hold silence. And I'm not making a suggestion about wanting to know what I look like any other day but today. I know that the freestyle of, of the show um, has taken quite some time. I've had people stealing my books, The Adventures of a Black Handful of Moon Dust. If you would like to get a copy, please, I will send out copies to you. I have autographed copies stocked here in some stores. Um, of course, my shipment would be delayed, but it's, it's not uh, the end of, of uh, anything but 1950s world. So let's be prepared. I would like to um, introduce always my special guest, Coca-Cola. Reading saves lives, people. Um, uh, a lot of times um, we're listening to what someone believes about the, the battles that they choose and who they'd like to recruit. But when it, it comes down to the metamysticism that is going on concerning um, the rape of my body, insisting that so many that had already gone would be released and would be able to find homes in mansions that look similar to mine. I have been um, stripped out here to a point to go to a hospital at VCU, which I'd like to file a lawsuit. Um, to be detained so that my body could be probed um, just as in the adventures of a black man full of moon dust and they're saying well, I'm so fine that I lost my mind well I've never been seen before 
no one really knows my name. So, as I said, I'm Dr. Pepsi Cola Pepper, Dr. PC Pepper. I'm coming to you. Um, I'm freestyling this. I've got um, a few issues that I'd like to continue to bring up, and I would like to receive your feedback at this point. Because a lot of people thought they were my friends in the old world in 1950. But it turns out that they died before I could remind them who they thought their friends were and how their lives were snuffed out. And it wasn't even involving the idea that it had to be a black thing. So, I don't want to play black and white. Let me say that. Let me be clear. I'm a red woman. I'm a flame. She, her. Alright? I don't want to talk about my real name right now. Um, governmentally speaking, I would like to continue to encourage all the essential employees for people understanding what the word migration means. Migration means to pick up and to take an opportunity to live somewhere else. So for 20 years, I lived in Texas after high school and college and continued to pay my dues from the great state of Texas from my perspective and for my platform. And now I've migrated to the East Coast, which I originally wanted and was invited to come right here right away and get involved in that dying culture of 1950. Because those things that happened in 1950 should not happen again, all right? I was involved with a demonstration and protest against the decisions concerning Roe versus Wade. <coughs> Pardon me. So I'm making contacts. I'm not in a rush at all because this is the very beginning of a new place in all of our hearts. And what we would like to continue to do is live through the unconditional love that I have been responsive to, to have an opportunity to continue to love myself. Even when I've given people a suggestion that I know that you'd like to spit in my face. I know you want to stab me in the back. I know you would want me to get mad and cut your throat. But I've kept my hands off of people for long enough. I have. And I can. I have restraint. Um, there were suggestions when we talk about number five. Um, have something sweet, like a partner. And that's where I like to um, continue to... Um, stick to, to my script. Stick to the ideas uh, concerning um, relationships and the balance of the individual in, in search of a relationship, whether it be a professional relationship, a spiritual relationship. And the domestic domestication involved has a responsibility to the husband man. The one that's supposed to be telling the songs. The one that's supposed to be breaking grounds and building their first home together. But 1950 is long gone. So when people have taken up to build a bed in a van and go wherever they want, let's go ahead and take the opportunity to be ferocious in our freedom. Let's go ahead and sink our teeth in a bite of true freedom in America. And it happens... When we employ the citizenship that goes along with making things happen in this country. The Americas are still the Americas. So let's look at the world from our hemisphere. Because this is where I'm born and raised. I'm American. And so there's no reason for me to see myself in a situation to want to um, put away, put aside anything about... Um, the club soda retreat because it is in the form, it's in the making, um, the menu is being catered, the activities are being aligned, the special guests, and it will go on without a rush. <clears throat> it will continue to go on without a rush. It, it, it is a procedure that um, is as good as going to the dentist. Having the, taking responsibility for your appearance, taking responsibility for your hygiene and safety that starts at home, okay? And it's, it's as I said, 
Um, club soda is present in the present. All right? There's flashes of lies, thunder, um, spiritual movement, happy Halloween, as I said. I'm very excited to still be here in Richmond because they've told me to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to um, crank up a little bit more of Club Soda. I'm thinking this is going to be the theme music. But uh, Club Soda, what's your flavor? We're going to open up to the guest quest of the day. All right, now, and for storm preparedness, let's be prepared for the idea concerning the storms of life that are happening, the war, um, robbing sovereignty and killing for property, okay? These things are important. They really are. So, let's see. Um, the guest quest of the day is, are you a United States citizen? Are you a United States citizen? It's going to be the first way that I start off in Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to continue to take notes. I've got a pen here, and I've got some paper. And as I said, please... Um, Please leave your comments. Talk to me. Because like I said, when I came here, I didn't even have a reason to believe that I wouldn't have uh, someone be rude to me. It wasn't so many people being rude. It's people um, were very kosher with me, as in every, everywhere that I go. But some people have taken the time to devise some way to tell me to get out of Richmond every three months. So I stayed, I, I said I was gonna do my show here. I wanted to, to film immediately when I got here, which goes along with some measures that I have with uh, VCU Hospital, because a professor um, at VCU came to the conclusion that he would invite me to share a space with him. And it wasn't uh, an intimate situation. He was a high school um, student that I knew him as a, an orphan that I went to high school with. And I knew that he had graduated here so to be a professor. So um, in that time, he said that he'd lost his mind. And I was there for a couple of weeks. Well, me moving to a new place, I've traveled plenty, so I know how to, to do things for myself. But I had been um, living in a hotel and a storage facility just to get, at, get here. And then I was stripped naked at VCU and detained while spiritual sensories went into my vagina, went into my rectum, and I was not able to, to leave or do anything. So I lived and I'm not the enemy. I'm not here to hurt anyone, but the enemy is entitled to kill, steal, and destroy. And so I don't want you to be my enemy anywhere in this world, especially with Club Stoda Retreat where you can be a special guest. And I haven't been seen. I haven't been touched or talked to. I haven't even been kissed. I, I can't even get a deal with Revlon. But it, it's, it's not the idea that I'd like to get one because someone that's in place to have lip gloss on and put a shine into this new world. I think it looks great. I would never deny any of that. Matter of fact, I have war paint of my own. And so when I use and employ everything that I have here, and as I said, I have people that have um, sang for me, um, invited me to events here, um, gifted me, sponsored me, 
um, so many um, restaurants because I'm a Texas girl. I got a big appetite, but I'm on a diet. I don't know if that makes sense, but I, you know, get down with uh, some of the food, cuisine, uh, the couture of uh, Richmond is different from Houston. And that's where I shot the first season of Club Soda in Houston. I'm originally from Big Money, Texas, spent top all Saudi Arabia. So I'm not in the need to find myself in the new world without any oil making preparations for all of these old things to pass by. All these old things are gone. Um, stereotypes, labels, mental illness, depression, suicide, these things is why I'm incorporating these shows, male, female. Because the labels can be wherever they are. So if somebody would like to have an idea about, let's go ahead and get involved with being basic. Because I'm boring looking. I'm bored looking, and I'm not overdosed on anything but myself, okay? So, um, as I said, um, the, the, the guest quest of the day is, are you a U United States citizen? So, women and men, um, take the opportunity to see yourself in a dream cast with a dream partnership. If that's what you're involved in. But as for myself, the focus is the individual. The individual balance and what goes along with being involved with that relationship of a, the dream cast and the dream relationship, whatever that may be. And some people have shown and proved that they would like to be involved with raping anybody of their dream especially the most beautiful individuals and I know I'm looking haggard. I look like a ghost. Anyway, I will be um, getting a new wig for Halloween, so um, please uh, be advised um, the, the, the platinum hair is um, a motive. Um, they're the angels that are here. Um, I'm working with several decks and I'm receiving so much more than what any enemy of mine thought that they were stealing. So, as I said, um, are you a United States citizen? Um, immigration is apparently uh, available to um, deport people at any time. Especially when they thought that they want, they can do that anywhere in the world. So if you wanted to marry someone from Africa for a green card in the United States and then you're subjected to being excommunicated from your marriage from either the United States or you still roam about freely. But when it comes down to the citizenships of it, men are at war for territory, energy, and not me. They're not after me, as it is. They're not even in a situation to see themselves wondering who I am. Because, uh, as you can see, the water is displacing people again, people. Okay? The water is um, very present in today. And then there's so much water flooding this East Coast. And then there explaining some things about who has water and who doesn't. So, my concern with energy sources has something to do with the wind. Because I'm here. In Richmond, I'm warm. But energy sources and making the transition for energy sources. We're going from uh, oil and gas. We're going to continue to refine the oil and, and gas process operation. That's, that's going to happen. But what I'm talking about is um, more, more or less than anything is um, the safety ideas um, that go along with the travel, the migrations, and I want to continue to reiterate. You don't need a passport to travel to the United States of America, Richmond, Virginia. Thank you so much for being the first tourist attraction that I can see is still America. 
and tourism is very present here. And people are going to be visiting and meeting people. And I would like for people that had thought that they were limited in their partnerships and who they want to be with, be involved in the, the ferocious bite of your freedom today. Isn't this wonderful? I'm, I'm very sure that someone wants to hold you back. Because of your height, your weight, your sex, your money, your car, your children, your, your skin color. Somebody wants to hold you back. And you have a responsibility to not allow that to happen. You do. Because I take responsibility and sit here um, for a moment. For a moment, and then I'm on to the next city. And I'm very, very, um, very blessed to be alive in this time. For all of those uh, young hellas that are continuing to press through. Um, and in power, being a woman. There is a lot of power in being a woman. There's a lot of understanding. But a woman also has a right to be very demanding as well. To herself. Not, let's not go outside of self. In America. American woman. He doesn't want anything to do with us anyway. Okay? Big shout out to Lenny Kravitz. For being president. Jimi Hendrix. Um, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, one of my songs from the, uh, from the album Adventures. I've been able to perform music here still. I still am being invited to New Jersey, to Atlantic City. So I'm going to be checking the briefs. I'll be on the news. I'll be not involved with trying to bogart and hit anybody. All right? I'd like for, to definitely send out remarks to the royal family and this new world. Rest in power, Queen Elizabeth II. Because I would like to clear my remarks and say that I believe that she's definitely a part of my household when it comes down to my upbringing. And I'm from the South. I'm not involved with any kind of slavery except that uh, slavery involved in the Louisiana Purchase that would bring uh, citizens from France to the, the Louisiana Purchase and not just in the boot, not in the, the, the bottom of the Louisiana Purchase. But let's not be too hasty about where are we going to explore and who will we explore with? Let's just ponder upon that. I will be, I will, I will, I will rarely have any um, reason to um, just up jump and do anything more than a photo shoot right now because I, I would like people to take advantage of me being in their life and being able to speak with them whether they are a man or a woman whether they have newfound freedom in relationships, marriage and, and families whether they are a man or a woman and if two men would like to be open about their relationship and responsive to the ailments that go along and what you can do to clear your individual relationship with the safety involved, with the research that's gone on for so long. Because let's not, let's not hate our men. Let's not hate our men for not um, fitting into a cookie cutter. Let's not do that today, ladies. Um, ladies and gentlemen are welcome. I'm not re accepting any niggers and I'm not accepting any bitches. In, in the new world, in this corner of the world where I am, I would like to be involved with gentle, savage people. And I intend to continue to say that because in America, I believe that people do have the right not to be a nigger, not to live in ignorance. That's what I believe and that's what I'm gonna say. I can say that. 
I don't have to get somebody to say it behind my back. I'm not going to do that. I got Dr. Pepsi with the beat abuse, cola canes on the track, new friends, new guests, new messages. Republican Ben Sass of Nebraska plans to resign in the U.S. Senate seat just now. It just came in. So I'm not going to hold time too long. People are um, taking executive order over states. Jobs are being created at the time. This is not a time in America for us to believe that we are poor people or poor white trash. All right? No matter what, they called me that when I got to Richmond. So, go figure. I've been called worse. I've been called worse. But in light of uh, the gift of illumination, I am Dr. Pepsi Cold Pepper. Club Soda, RVA, what's your flavor?